Hi, my name is Josh, and I'm the second affirmative speaker. Um, continuing what Attila said, we believe that um, the United States should ban the use of single-use plastic bags for um, specifically for grocery shopping, um, and or not just grocery shopping, but also retail shopping. Um, our first point was that it causes the plastic bags cause harm to animals. According to the Earth Resource Foundation, land animals seem to be victims as well. In countries such as India, cows are mistakenly ingesting plastic bags on the streets as they are scavenging for food and end up choking or starving to death as the plastic cannot be digested. So, this says that a similar study found that plastic debris, including plastic bags, um, have affected over 200 marine animal species as well as other land <coughs> animals, including a camel in Southeast Asia. So most people focus on plastic debris in the oceans, but the debris is also affecting land animals um, abroad and um, cause similar effects as in disease, um, starvation of the animals, and even death. Um, our second point was that it wastes non-renewable natural resources. Um, in the article, California's Plastic Bag Ban, Myths and Facts, by Denise Robbins and Shauna Thiel. Um, a report further explained that Americans throw away 100 billion bags each year, and that bags are the major source of human-related debris on the seabed. Um, this further shows how um, plastic bags are affecting marine life and animals in the ocean as well as on land. There's also the source of the citizens, the citizens' campaign for the environment in their article, Reducing Disposable Bag Pollution. They say, plastic bags are made from fossil fuels and it requires 2.2 billion pounds of fossil fuel and 3.9 billion gallons of fresh water to produce the 100 billion plastic bags the U.S. consumes each year. So, as we all know, California is in a drought. So even though we're not even close to using 100 billion gallons of water, or, I'm sorry, 3.9 billion gallons of water in just California. Um, it's still affecting the amount of water we have here in the state. And by reducing the use of plastic bags dramatically, as in banning them, this will help save water, save fresh water for future and better use, better usage. Um, to refute what Sabrina said about reusable bags, um, the same article by Denise Robbins and Chana Thiel Dr. Susan Freniak, director of San Francisco's Communicable Disease and Control Prevention Division, tells, um, tells Robbins, your average healthy person is not going to get sick from the, the bacteria that were listed, um, the listed bacteria being the ones found in the reusable bags. Um, the report says researchers found E. coli in seven of the 84 bags tested, but Freniak says the study doesn't identify the type of E. coli in the bags, a significant shortcoming. Most strains of E. coli are harmless, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. So though the, though the uh, reusable bags may get dirty with your groceries that you put in them, um, washing them would be a good idea so that they stay clean, but if you don't wash them, it's not that harmful to you and um, any other users of the plastic bags since the disease is found in the in the plastic bags are usually micro or micro, um, can't think of the word, sorry, are usually impudent compared to larger um, diseases such as the, the harmful strand of E. coli that can be um, caught. Um, and then our last point was that pollution caused by manufacture and improper disposal of plastic bags. In the article, 10 Reasons Why Single-Use Plastic Bags Below by Lisa K. Boyle, it states, in Los Angeles County, over 90% of the bags collected in municipalities surveyed ended up being shipped to a landfill rather than recycled due to contamination from food or pet waste and the tendency of plastic bags to jam recycling machinery. So, Though plastic bags, um, though most people state that plastic bags can be reused 
for lining trash cans and picking up animal waste and um, throwing away old food that you might have in your fridge. By doing that, you're not allowing facilities to recycle the plastic bags because of the, <coughs> I'm sorry, the contamination caused by such things. And um, similarly, um, an article from Australia saying seven secrets of successful recyclers mentions the process of recycling. Most recycling is commingled, which means various materials like glass, metal, paper, cardboard, and plastic are put in one in the one um, blue bin that most people have at home. The first stage of the process is hand sorting. Staff working at conveyor, belt, <coughs> conveyor belts remove contaminants like batteries, loose plastic bags, and polystyrene by hand. These workers pick the, pool, the full plastic bags off the conveyor belt and throw them into a collection bin, collection bin just destined for landfill. Um, they do this because they aren't aware of what's in the plastic bags. So the plastic bag may contain um, animal waste, uh, food waste, as well as um, um, not human waste, but like, <laughs> but things such as um, needles that can have um, blood residue left on them, which could lead to catching um, not sexually transmitted diseases or possibly sexually transmitted diseases through um, contact of blood and. Um, and since the process is done by hand by the workers, and then they too can catch these diseases, and that wouldn't be really good. And lastly, I will refute what she brought up about abroad countries, and uh, specifically <coughs> Ireland, and say that re the article Reducing Disposable Bag Pollution by Jay Christensen states, Ireland and Washington, D.C. both saw an 80 to 90 percent reduction in disposable bag usage after implementing minor fees on disposal bags. And to further that point, um, another article from Scientific American Global states, a plastic bag tax levied in Ireland in 2002 has reportedly led to a 95% reduction in plastic bag litter there. So our, in, in summary, our affirmative point is that plastic bags should be banned and the use of reusable plastic bags should be um, enforced and should be enforced for um, all shoppers.